Hi there, I'm Corey McCain, CEO of We Strive, and I'm going to walk you through this FAQ. Let's start by pushing add program to get started. First, let's give our plan a title. Let's call it full body bootcamp. Our builder has two main sections, workouts, which is how you build your fitness program, and then reminders, which is a collection of habits, surveys, macros, and more. From the workout builder, you have two ways to create programs. You can start typing to build out a text-based workout, which is the faster option, or you can enter the day builder to build out your fitness plan with more depth. We'll start by heading into the builder and then pushing add exercise. From here, you have three ways of adding exercises. You can search by category, you can start typing to select your exercise, or you can just type your exercise without connecting it to a photo or video. WeStrive provides you with over 1600 exercise videos. Let's type dumbbell overhead squat and then select the exercise. I'll add 12 reps and 50 pounds. I can add up to four measurement fields, so I can even change pounds to time if I want, or I can add tempo and RPE. Now let's make this a circuit. Let's go to the abs category and then add suitcase crunches, and then legs category and add Bulgarian split jumps. Oh, let's add a custom exercise of my own. I recently filmed myself doing plank tees, so let's add that video from YouTube real quick. There's the link, the photo, and I'll add that to my core category, and I'll add the note, keep your core flexed and back straight. So now when I search for this exercise, I'll see it appear in my exercises immediately. For crunches, I just want 30 reps. For split jumps, I want 20 seconds. And then for plank tees, I'll do 30 reps. Once my workout is set, I'll push the plus button twice for a total of three rounds. On the left side, I can add notes to exercises, pull up workout progress records for specific clients, or drag the exercises up and down inside the circuit. For notes, keep in mind that you can save a note permanently to an exercise so that it's always attached. There's my plank note I saved when I added the exercise. In the app, clients will see these notes right next to the progress button. From this circuit, I can duplicate it, save it as a template, or drag it up and down the day. I'll give it the name legs and core circuit. Now let me go to the drop down, select save circuit, and then add the circuit that we just saved. We can even collapse the day for an easier view. Let's call the day circuit day, save it. Now pop over to Thursday and drop the whole day in. The last thing in this section is the client entry type. You'll start with regular and AMRAP will just be one set of measurements with a time limit so clients will record how many reps or rounds they can do in that time. OpenField removes all the sets and reps boxes in the app for your client, so all they'll need to do is just type out how it went in the notes field. For time gives your clients the ability to simply just add in the time when they finish the circuit, and long form video is for longer videos like yoga routines. This will remove most of the distractions from the screen and allow your clients to just watch the video and add notes if needed. If we head back to the week builder, from here I can move this day from day one to day two, and then I can duplicate it so that it's on day two and day five. I'll name the week full body week. I can save this entire week as a template just in case I want to use this combination of days in the future with a saved weeks button. Now, let's talk about building from the week view. Just push add exercise and then start typing. You can just type in your exercise and you can pull from our database from here as well. I'll select dumbbell lunges. Below I'll type three times 10 per leg. Then I'll add jump squats and type out a list of sets and notes I want for this exercise. It's as simple as that. I'll add a solo exercise, bench press three by eight, and then a cool down of jogging for 10 minutes. And there you go. And I want the same workout for day six, so let's just copy that over there. I can even collapse the weeks so that they're easier to drag around. Now, on to reminders. In total, you can ask clients to weigh themselves, upload progress photos, schedule a message, ask them to try for a PR, ask for a measurement, assign a habit, assign a survey, track cardio, or ask for photos of their daily food intake. So you have a ton of amazing options. You can even schedule these to repeat. For example, I want my clients to weigh themselves once a week on Tuesday. I also would like progress photos from them, and then I would like to send a how are you feeling today survey. I'll push weekly for Tuesday, and then I'll have this repeat for the next three weeks. From there, I'd also like to send them a have a great workout today message every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'll have this repeat for three weeks as well. Finally, I'll drop in macro goals. We'll do 3000 calories a day with a high protein, low carb diet. I'll schedule this for Monday through Friday and push save. And that's it. My entire program is ready to go. When my program is assigned to my client, they'll automatically receive the fitness program and the calendar of reminders all at once. Here's an example of day two, Tuesday. They'll see the fitness plan for the day and then their weigh-in reminder, survey, and progress photo requests. The last thing I can do here is choose a program type like bodybuilding, add the time per day, add a description to the program so my clients have an overview, 
and then I have the option to also add a cover photo and video as well. When the program is ready, I can simply assign it to my client, choose the date I want it to start, and then I can even keep it in drafts after assigning it so that I can use this for another client as well. And there you have it. If you have any questions, please reach out to help at westrive.com. Have an amazing day and don't forget to keep striving.